Hello everyone, welcome to the FD Share channel. In this video, we will discuss an engine that is rarely talked about, namely an engine called the Tarazi Pendulum engine. This engine was developed by an Argentine engineer named Eduardo Tarazi. As we can see, this engine comes with a curved piston shape that works within a quarter toroidal cylinder. And to achieve greater power, this engine can also be designed with various engine configuration arrangements, ranging from inline, boxer, and even V configuration. The working principle of this engine is very unique. It utilizes pendulum motion to generate more excellent and more efficient power than conventional engines, as it involves minimal frictional motion. However, initially, this engine was underestimated by many people because it was considered incapable of working optimally. Therefore, only a short time after the blueprint was made, Eduardo Turazzi immediately implemented his engine into a go-kart, which was tested on a highway. The result was that the engine was able to run up to a speed of 70 miles per hour without any issues. Since the engine had passed the test without any issues and even produced a relatively high power output, Eduardo decided to take it a step further by applying it to a car engine, specifically the Fiat 128. This was a significant change, as Eduardo had to modify almost all of the parts, including the cylinder head, crankshaft, and other components, to accommodate the pendulum mechanism inside, with the main part being the cylinder block. The working mechanism is actually the same. The engine works by using a four-stroke cycle consisting of intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Similarly, the firing order starts from 1, 3, 4, and 2. As a result, this engine managed to achieve up to 30% better fuel efficiency while producing the same power output as the standard Fiat 128. But to satisfy our curiosity, let's discuss the reasons why this engine can achieve high efficiency and why it has not been mass-produced until now. Alright, first, let's examine it in detail and compare it to conventional engines. As we all know, conventional engines have straight cylinders, and the piston moves in a linear motion inside the cylinder. However, to minimize potential rotation or pitching, and minimize thrust against the cylinder walls, the piston must also have sufficient height. Of course, this condition will result in additional negative effects, with an increase in piston height there will inevitably be an increase in the frictional surface area between the piston and cylinder walls. Moreover, if we take a closer look, the motion of the connecting rod, which does not move purely upwards, will also exert additional pressure on the cylinder walls. Undoubtedly, this will be a weakness of conventional engines, and the only way to neutralize this disadvantage is to provide lubrication to this area. Now, let's compare it with the Torazi Pendulum System engine and see how different it is. In terms of construction, it is almost the same. We will find the crankshaft, connecting rod, and valve system that are more or less the same. However, the difference lies in the curved cylinder block, which is more precisely in the form of a semi-toroidal cylinder. Then, the piston consists of one bundle along with a fixed banana-shaped arm, where this arm will hang on a shaft and bearings. And this is the main point where the arm will function to keep the piston always in the center of the cylinder without pushing it to the wall. This theoretically makes the friction or resistance almost negligible. And because this friction is almost close to zero, the damage that occurs to the piston and its wall can also be minimized, and all the forces that are normally wasted due to friction will be directed to the arm, shaft, and bearings. This makes the engine work more efficiently. And the use of bearings here is also important because it can further minimize the friction that occurs. Next, to maintain good compression, rings are added to the piston as usual, but without oil rings because with minimal friction, the amount of required oil can be reduced. Furthermore, with the shorter piston design, the weight of the piston can also be reduced, resulting in fuel savings of up to 30% compared to conventional engines, as mentioned earlier. Another effect is that with minimal friction, the cooling system can also be reduced in size, from the radiator to the amount of coolant used, ultimately reducing weight. Due to the numerous benefits provided, 
Torazi became even more obsessed with his own creation and installed it in many machines, even including his lawnmower. And furthermore, two-stroke engine enthusiasts will be delighted to hear that Torazi also created a two-stroke version of this pendulum system engine, which was installed on the go-kart we saw earlier, considering the minimal friction. This means that oil usage can also be significantly reduced, making the Torazi pendulum system engine an environmentally friendly two-stroke engine. But there must be something that feels strange. If this engine is that good, why hasn't it been used until now? Well, the answer is actually this engine has been commercialized since long ago. It's just unfortunate that it's not used as a vehicle engine. For example, we can see the Torazi Pendular engine used in a compressor, which is specially designed for compressing gas intended for medical and laboratory sectors, because it is considered ideal. And furthermore, this engine was selected because it can run without using any oil at all. Additionally, in this compressor, the piston rings are replaced with Teflon material, considering that there is no combustion process in this compressor, and metal rings are not really necessary. Actually, big manufacturers have also been offered this engine before, some were even interested. But unfortunately, the engine didn't make it to production. It has only been developed so far to be applied in transportation vehicles. But, despite this engine still being in the development stage, and not yet widely used commercially, the Torazi Pendulum engine is considered a significant breakthrough in combustion engine technology, because it is believed to have many advantages. However, despite the promising potential of the Torazi Pendulum engine, it has not yet been mass-produced for various reasons, which can also be considered as its disadvantages. Firstly, conventional internal combustion engine technology has been around for decades and has been well integrated into the global automotive industry. This is the main reason why new engines like the Torazi Pendulum engine need to prove to themselves that they have clear advantages in terms of efficiency and performance in order to gain approval and acceptance from vehicle manufacturers and the global market. Secondly, the production of a new engine clearly requires significant investment in terms of time and money. Thirdly, there are risks involved in the development and production of new engines like the Turazi Pendulum engine. As we all know, new engines may have technical or licensing issues and failures, where the engine can cause sudden damage to the vehicle or even worse, lead to accidents. Moving on to the fourth disadvantage, it's the complexity of the design. We can all see and assess that a complex and unique engine design can make it harder to design, manufacture, and market the engine. This can also make engine maintenance and repair more difficult and expensive. And lastly, regarding the previous claim that this engine will be lighter compared to conventional engines because it doesn't need a radiator, it seems a bit overhyped. Because the pendular part itself will provide a relatively heavy weight, not just from the piston but also from the addition of weight from the shaft and the increasing size of the crankcase, as well as other small parts. Therefore, although Turazi Pendulum engine shows promising potential in terms of efficiency and performance, clearly, this engine still needs time and effort to prove itself to convince vehicle manufacturers and the global market to adopt it. And even then, the possibility or chance is still very small. This is because Turazi Pendulum engine must compete directly with electric engines that are being perfected every day. This means that this engine can only be recognized if it can work using hydrogen, which is known to be environmentally friendly. But it is clear that this will bring new problems and challenges. And we think that's all the information we can provide in this video. As usual, if you have any questions, criticisms, or suggestions, don't hesitate to participate in the comment section below. I'm Courier, signing off. See you in the following video. And thanks for watching.